Hello, Buzzacals! My name is Hotsesty and welcome back to another day in Minecraft Wizard Mining, as always. And last time we built this uh, contraption that has some colorful outputs and some colorful redstone. And I am sure you wondered since last time what's up with this comparator. And we will solve that today. So with this contraption we basically can request bone meal. Or more precisely a shulker box of bone meal that's in this hopper. But what happens if there is no bone meal shulker box in the hopper? We request it, we expect to get a shulker box of bone meal, but nothing happens and that basically breaks the circle. And that's where this comparator comes in. So let's say we have this hopper full of shulker boxes and we have one shulker box going through. I mean, the um, let me take this piece of redstone here. So every time a shulker box goes from up to down, we get this signal strength, which is of power three. So actually we cannot detect or differentiate between, oh, a shulker box goes through this hopper and there is a shulker box sitting in here but cannot move down. So what we actually want here as an output is when we have two shulker boxes in there or signal strength six, then we are good. Or in other words, if we have here a signal strength that's lower than six, uh, we should probably run the farm on top to create enough shulker boxes until we get signal strength six, because that means we have enough shulker boxes down here, so we can request a few shulker boxes um, from some of the farms. And that should not be that complicated, uh, and of course there are different ways to do it um, but I am thinking um, if we can devise something that would give us a signal strength output here only if uh, we are above six that would probably work and then we probably should negate the whole thing because if we have a signal output on here the farm should not run but the farm should run if we don't get a signal output there. So let me put the sinking cap and not this one on uh, and uh, I will come up with a solution and then I will grab my redstone box to implement it and basically also hook the, uh, the turn on off mechanism for the farm to that system. Indeed, the solution is not that complicated. What we have here in this mock-up is our hopper comparator block in front with a torch to basically invert the signal and this comparator is on subtract mode so we can feed in a signal from uh, this side here and basically if we get a signal in the right strengths we only get a signal strength of one out here if we have two Schalke boxes in here. So currently torch is off, but as soon as I take one box off, 
torch goes on a uh, torch goes on and the way we get the signal strength the right signal strength that actually was the most tricky part because what we need here is a composter uh, with uh, level 5 so basically we need we know from uh, before that we get a signal strength of 6 with two shulker boxes in here so 6 minus 5 gives us 1 which means that's just enough to uh, uh, turn this torch off and of course there are different ways to uh, get uh, uh, signal strengths of uh, 5 here uh, we could also have used um, um, a cake but a full cake gives off a signal strength of 14 uh, so that means we would have needed to eat a few slices but as you can see I'm currently sated so composer it is and I tried also uh, a cauldron because I quite like it um, but even a full cauldron only gives a signal strength of 3. Uh, another option of course would be a lectern with a book in it but then we would need to craft a lectern and a book so that's a bit more expensive than a composter and a few seats in it. And from here on basically we can then build up a torch tower um, up there and uh, there is then really uh, simple because all we need to do is power this lamp and we can basically do that with a bit of redstone line once we have the right height and if we power it like this farm turns on if the power goes off the farm turns off right so let me put that in for this farm and also for the cobblestone farm where we have the delivery set up in place uh, unfortunately this uh, does not work for other farms like uh, the, the wood farms because there uh, it's not sufficient to turn the farm off because these kind of farms actually need the player to be present to uh, interact with the farm to produce the goodies. All right then, um, let's do that, fall off and um, then uh, hopefully we can actually see the, the whole thing working. As you can see and hear, I successfully hooked up the uh, cobblestone generator to our uh, setup down there um, with a bit of uh, redstone torch staircase in that case wiring up here through the back then up there and there we have the override a lever so we can manually stop the farm and here on this side uh, we are still blocked because we have manually filled the dropper but as soon as uh, we move that out we can see the farm actually starting up and producing more bone meal and it will only stop when we have um, six more shulker boxes that go into the dropper because now just the third shulker box ended up here and then we need two more for the hopper so that means in total we need to create eight shulker boxes of bone mill before our system 
uh, is stable and uh, will stop working. And that, my friends, is everything I wanted to achieve today. However, with this setup, there is a tiny drawback because these farms are a bit fickle, uh, meaning that if I would uh, run too far away or for example go to the nether they have a high tendency to break so in order to prevent that we want to install a chunk loader and usually you do that at the bottom of the world and that's exactly where our other project with the tunnel bore comes in so probably we should make some progress on that front as well. But for now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you soon with the next one. Goodbye.